hotel, right? Where am I? San Francisco. How long? 24 hours. I know you're wondering like what the hell is going on. So let me put this little vlog in park. Let's reverse it. Go back a couple of days when I vlogged earlier this week and then I'll catch you guys up. All right guys, happy Tuesday. We are back with another weekly vlog. I had this whole soliloquy. I was gonna get up and show you guys my morning routine, but the kiddo did not have a good um, night last night. And as a result, mom and dad didn't have a last night a good night. Anyway, I am on a path for a slew of errands slash self-care things. I'm running my errands this morning and then after um, afternoon, William has some things that he's gonna do. So I am headed to get my brows done. I have not got my brows done in months because I wasn't able to like lay back in the chair. So I'm headed to get that done. I'm leaving there and going straight to get my hair done. Yes, I absolutely love my curls, but I need a little, I need a change. So I'm getting the sew-in back in. I'm just getting um, in 14 inches instead of 16. So I'm headed to do that. And then depending on my time frame, because I know William needs to leave at four, um, I want to go get a pedicure. And then I want to go by Trader Joe's to pick up my bi-weekly flowers. So hopefully we can get all that done before four. So for those that care to know, I get my brows. This is a little cute area in Homewood. I get my brows done at a place called Raw Beauty. It's in Soho. It's really nice. There's a lady that thing, Deanna that does them and like I said that's so that's call me kill me crazy um I don't remember what street that is but it's a little cute little area there's a bunch of different like boutiques and stuff so let's go get my brows done all right so minor change I'm just now leaving the um salon <laughs> took a little longer than I expected but we started late because I got there late because I had to go by and get cash so we're just now leaving it is 255 so I'm clearly not gonna have time to get a pedicure uh, or anything like that so I am going to just run into Trader Joe's to get my flowers I'm also gonna grab something really quick for lunch because um, I haven't eaten lunch also you guys can't tell but the brows are done I'll show you too when I get home um, so I'm gonna run in there to Trader Joe's and then I'm gonna I've got to run to get gas because I'm 50 miles until empty and yes I could technically probably go another two weeks with that because I barely I don't remember the last time I put gas in my car I probably fill up my car maybe once every two and a half months because I just don't I don't drive it <laughs> especially now that I'm not going into the office like I barely drive my car and if I do everything that I go to is within like a 10 mile radius so I'm gonna gas my car up and then I'm going to head home so that um, William can head out so I'll show you guys like the details of my hair and then I'll show you guys my brows when and of course my flowers when I get home all right I am back home Trader Joe's trash when it comes to flowers apparently everybody else thought the same thing all they had were these white ones so I just got three dozen white roses hydrangeas because apparently the ones that I got last time seemed to be working I did completely like soak them in water and then just kind of let them dry out on their own so that seemed to be working and then a little bit of greenery they didn't have a lot um as far as lunch i picked up um this chopped salad with grilled white chicken so i'm gonna eat that and then i've got a chicken and chimichurri empanada in the air fryer and i'm going to do that with the cold pressed red juice. I've tried the green one before, it's trash, so I'm hoping that the red one is a little sweeter. So this is my hair. I got 14, I went shorter this time, so I did do 14 instead of 16. I love it. Probably next time I'm gonna do a 14 and a 16. So it'll be a little longer here and a little shorter here, but love the results. She just put regular barrel curls in them. And then as far as my brows, I did get them laminated and tinted. I wish I had a before picture because they were looking absolutely rough. Like I said, I hadn't been in a few months because I couldn't lay that far back with the bump. So we're at home. Sister's here, even though you can't see her. Um, husband is getting ready to go to his cigar function. So 
and then the kid is asleep. But I got my thing in the mail today. Why did I find my invoice I created? In Canva? Yeah. I didn't think you needed it anymore, so I moved it to the trash. Because you had so many different invoice templates. I was trying to do something. But you saw the one that I used. I didn't, because it was on my phone, so I couldn't see. But there should be a trash folder. I just put, like, maybe there's, like, a recently deleted. You had seven different templates. I didn't know which one you went with. You reviewed it. But I didn't know which one on the, I couldn't see the, the large screen because of the phone. Satan, is it worth today? Is there not a trash folder? There's a trash folder. Recently deleted trash. There's there's a folder. Anyway, as I was saying, oh gosh, I probably shouldn't do that. That's got my whole address on there. Anyway, so let's open this puppy up. It came faster than I thought. Like I just, they, I just got the email from them last week. Oh, I feel like I want to do a reel for this. I'll just reopen it because I'm using my phone right now to record. I'll just reopen it. 100,000 subscribers. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. Thanks so much, Rick. Oh, this is so pretty. Look here. It's got my living fearless on there. Surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Now I gotta find, I'm gonna put it somewhere in my office. I just don't know where. Thank you guys. Anyway, I'm going to eat. I'm going to put these flowers up. I'll show you guys the final arrangement, although there's not much I could do with just some roses and some eucalyptus, but we'll make it work. And then that might be it for today. So. I'm not gonna play now. I'll be the witch you tell your friends about I'm the crazy ex-girl you pretend you don't know Cause you know I could ruin your life Rumor has it you have someone new She'll regret you like a bad tattoo Cause you'll never change, you'll always stay the same Go on and tell all your friends all about me I don't give a nothing sticks to me Yes, hon, I'm Teflon, I don't give an F, so go ahead and tell them I'm a little bit too much for ya Feeling something special for you And now you got me thinking till the sun comes up Daylight in my mind is dreaming And I'm saying too much couldn't be enough But I'll be waiting Waiting for the moment to take me to you Just a couple steps from going over the moon I wanna move with your back Yes
So um, after we're finished with the tour, we're going to try the grapes. Oh, okay. yeah. so we're, we're picking it today, okay? Okay. So hopefully, you we can, we can pick whatever you want oh, after, yeah. after we finish the tour, okay? Okay. All right. So just go ahead and follow me this way, folks. Okay. okay. We picked some right now. We picked some yesterday. So this is where everything is crushed. This is where we actually process all the grapes. Uh, the Pinot Noir, right? This guy's crushed right here. Uh, Yes, uh, so they throw the grapes in here? Yes, this is the brush right here. Oh! Yeah, so the whole process is in one yesterday. Oh, wow. uh, so then we're going to put the harvest in some of them. Baby, I want to move with your body, baby. Sonoma and Napa um, and it's because we know on our property not all grapes are best suited to grow there so why not head out to the coast or into the Russian River or over to Napa to where we feel those grapes will thrive purchase them bring them back to our facility and then make all of our own wine uh, we only produce right around 5,000 cases a year okay. uh, so we don't distribute uh, absolutely everything that we make uh, we only sell here directly out of our tasting oh. room. So you won't find us in Alabama. Oh. Um, do you ship? Do we do. Ship? Okay. And then to Alabama, we have to sell to your ABC store. That's yeah. right. Gotcha. So, I know, it's weird. But at least we can get there. Because if you were Mississippi, we couldn't ship to you. So there we go. Nice. Um, but yeah, so um, because it's fun and because it's perfect, we're going to start you with a little bit of our sparkling. Oh, I love a sparkling. Um, this is our Blanc de Blanc, uh, so the whole entire reason we're in the wine business at all uh, is because Henry and Diane Mayo uh, were retiring out of their first careers. Um, Henry did fairly well for himself in real estate, uh, Diane was a retired librarian, uh, and like so many in this area, they thought, hey, we should probably do the wine thing. Um, <laughs> ironically, they never wanted to make wine. Uh, they've got 40 acres not too far from here where they've got beautiful vegetable gardens and fruit trees and chickens and sheep. So really what they wanted to do was plant a vineyard of Chardonnay, grow grapes, and become farmers. Um, luckily and thankfully, those plans changed uh, because here we are, still going at it all these years later. In fact, just last Friday, we picked that very Chardonnay uh, vineyard for the 30th month. So oh, oh nice! Yeah. Um, so what we're going to start you with is champagne, or sorry, Yay! sparkling wine, um, that we make from that very Chardonnay vineyard. It is 100% a estate fruit. Um, this is pretty special because we only make it once every three years um, oh, because whoa. we don't have the facilities to make sparkling wines. Uh, so we make the base wine and then have to send it away uh, where it will go through that traditional, you know, method of shrimp and wall. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, like I said, it takes three and a half years to make as well. So it's a labor of love, but if you ask me, one worth waiting for. <laughs> I like to call this breakfast wine. Uh, <laughs> I really just feel like you don't get judged when you open this up in the morning. You know, it's like add fruit juice, don't. But I mean, it's not like you're cracking open a Cabernet or something like that. So, awesome. Very cool. Okay, come on, buddy. I just twist it too many times. There you go. Woo That's my favorite sound. Yep. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. 
Mississippi struck. <laughs> yeah. um, so something about Sonoma versus Napa is uh, we're a lot more about agriculture yep. um, on this side. So Ooh, we're a lot gonna have a lot smaller wineries, mm -hmm. um, a little like smaller farm. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, and I know I was drunk enough. Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up. Yeah. Now I'm truly awakened. Oh, so you wanna talk again? But it's time I do this my way. I don't wanna be your friend. Think we hit our my time I'm literally about to I have just enough time I literally just left the airport I am about to run it to the house I'm not even gonna take my stuff out of the car uh, change my clothes because I'm packed I am dressed for airport slash San Francisco weather and then head to my nephew's thing my nephew's party really quick I have on the exact same makeup from yesterday like I haven't even touched it up I need to touch it up because I wore my mask in the airport but I feel like I need to give you guys a makeup routine because this, the makeup look that I did, set my face. I did not touch my face at all yesterday. Mind you, I've had my makeup on it since 7.30 yesterday, San Francisco time. So technically 9.30 our time and it's now 3.20. So well over 24 hours and it's going to be at least another six five or six before I get to take it off today so the beat is beating and I appreciate it but yeah headed home gonna run change and then head to my nephew's birthday happy birthday to you So I am back home. Listen, I'm tired, but y'all, I wish, I wish I was recording on my phone so you guys can see the real. I don't know how good this camera is showing it, but this makeup has held up. When I tell you, well over 24 hours. Anyway, I'm back home. Just me and the kid right now. Husband just stepped out to go hang out with a friend. And then my mother-in-law who's visiting us um, went to go see my brother-in-law. So it's just me and the kid. You can't see him. He is, he sleeps so I still have, is that focusing? Still have the blanket over him, but he is wiped out. He literally did not wake up the entire time. So I have him. Under there, completely knocked out. Oh, completely knocked out. He literally didn't get up at all while we were at the birthday party, but I am about to unpack. Husband just surprised me and said that I need to pack for two and a half days because we're going to Chattanooga, which I've never been in Chattanooga. Um, for those that don't know, we celebrated our nine year anniversary this past Wednesday and we normally go somewhere and normally it's out of the country, um, but we're just we're making small steps. So we're trying to see how can we take a trip with an infant small. So we're gonna start off with the road trips <laughs> and then eventually we'll move up the flights and then we'll go international. So I'm gonna unpack this and then repack. I think I'm gonna vlog it, if not, I'm sorry. 
but I say all that to say I'm going to end the vlog here I hope you guys have enjoyed it I'm hoping it's not too long um I try to link what I could possibly link if I didn't link something you guys want something make sure to put it in the comments below so if you have reached this part of the video you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me while you're here guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys Sunday at 7. Toodles!